Mobile Fire Rescue is releasing new details about its budget. This is a follow-up to a story we broke last night on Fox 10 News at 9 p.m. Absolutely. Fox 10 News reporter Letitia Bush spoke with the interim fire chief. She's joining us now in the studio. Letitia? Well, I asked the question on everybody's mind. How will the cuts affect the department's response time? Engine number 10 will be out of service for the next six months. It sits at the Ream Station at Moffett Road and Western Drive. And engine 11 will stay parked. It's normally stationed on Broad Street. These are the only two stations in the fire department that have two fire engines. Interim Chief Randy Smith says you won't see a difference in the department's response time. We had a chance to question him more about that today. Explain how you came to the conclusion that that won't affect response time. We, in reducing one of the engines from at this time, we're not reducing the staffing level on the second engine. They will still be available to respond and be there for the community's need. People like Les Switzer see it differently. The more equipment that you actually have strategically placed within the city, the better off you're going to be. In other cuts, all ladder trucks will now have three people on board instead of four. In this case, there will be fewer boots on the ground. Smith says that still won't affect how the department handles emergencies. These trucks, when they respond to those type of incidents, do not respond alone. They respond with three fire engines, uh, an ALS ambulance, and a district chief. Losing a truck on Broad Street has one longtime resident concerned. It's going to be kind of sad to lose one because we need one around here. She hopes it works out just like the interim chief says it will. The department says it will be monitoring response time weekly. Mobile